Hi, this is Mark Samoyda with Curious Inventions. In the last video, I went over a basic string variable called s, and we assigned it a string. A string is something that exists between double quotation marks, the word hello right here. So a string is one type of variable. Um, let's clean this up a little bit. Um, I'll comment out the string so we can't use that anymore. There's another type of information which is numeric. It's called an integer. An integer is a number from, uh, well, we can go into more specifics on what it covers exactly, but it's a counting number from, I think it's negative 2 billion up to positive 2 billion. It can hold any integer value in that range. Um, let's create an integer called i. Um, up here we created a string, here we're creating an int, and you can see it's blue. Um, by the way, that's called a data type. It's the type of data that we're using. i is the variable name, and int is the data type. And we can set i equal to, pick a number, 55. And we can print that out down here. We'll just say our output text.text .text plus equals i 55 and the new line character. Let's just run it. So we get our 55. That's fine. Um, but since it's a number, we can do things with it. We can uh, do addition. 50, oh, I did it again. We can uh, do mathematical operations. 55 plus 107. So now it's going to perform this calculation and store that in the variable i. Let's run it. And we get 162. And we can multiply that. There's got to be a way to set that so it just ends. OK. Let's multiply it by 88. So um, oh, I don't know if you remember from algebra algebra class, but um, multiplication always occurs before the addition. And it's the same way in computer programming. So it's going to do 107 times 88, and then it's going to add in the 55, because multiplication always comes first. So let's run it. Yep, 9471. Alright, so um, Let's, uh, just to show some more operators here, we could, uh, one of these days I'm going to get that right. Uh, we have plus, we have minus, um, divided by is a forward slash, and then times is another one. We have plus, minus, this is division, and this is multiplication. But you get the point, like you can do math right here. Another, another thing you can do is you can say i equals i times 2. So what will happen is originally i gets set to 55, and then in this line, the next line, i is going to get set to 55 times 2. 110. And the equals is an assignment operator which assigns i to 110. So that should say 110. Let's just confirm it. Yep, 110. All right. Um, now, another thing, too, is I knew it. All right. So uh, you always want to be careful of the range, like the range of how high or how low it can go. There's an easy way to check. So i is type integer, but we can actually look at this thing called an int32. And an int32 means it's an integer that's 32 bits long. And that's what window uses, is integers that are 32 bits long. But we can say dot max value. So we're going to assign i to this maximum value for integer 32. And let's just take a look at what that is. 
Yep, it's about 2.1 billion or so. Or we can look at the min value. Oh. All right. I'm going to remember next time, I promise. Min value. And let's see what the min value is. Yeah, it's about negative 2 billion, negative 2.1 billion or so. All right. So just to go over this a little bit more, we have, you know, we can still keep this in too. I'll uncomment that. But here we have a variable called S, and the data type is a string. So S is going to have to be in double quotes because it's a string. And down here we have a variable called i, and the data type of i is an integer. So whenever you have a variable, you always need to be aware of what the data type is. 